In this video, we're going to look at percentage change and in particular percentage profit or percentage loss. Most of the time, these questions revolve around profit and loss, not just changes for the sake of changes. So we're going to look at an example here. John buys a car for $9,850 and sells it for $10,835. And Sally buys a car for $6,550 and sells it for $7,336. Who made the most money and who made the biggest percentage profit? So let's look at them one at a time. John, he's, um, the money that he made, the profit that he made, was $10,835 minus what he spent, $9,850. That's what he sold it for minus what he spent. So that's the profit he makes. And that gives us a profit of 985. So he made $985. For Sally, her profit was, well, she sold it for 7336. And she bought it for 6550. So her profit was one minus the other, and that is 786. So John made the most money. He made $985, whereas Sally only made $786. But when we think about the percentage of profit, well, that is, what percentage is that on what he originally spent? So John originally spent 9850 and on that he made $985. So this is using one of the other skills we've already looked at. 985 as a percentage of the original amount of spent. And we times that by 100 to work it out as a percentage. So 985 as a percentage of the original amount of spent. That means he made a 10% profit. For Sally, well, she originally spent 6550 but she made 786 So her percentage profit was the 786 that she made over how much she originally spent, and times by 100 because we wanted as a percentage. And that means that her percentage profit was 12%. What that means is that although John made more money in total, as a percentage of what they initially spent, Sally made a better percentage profit, because she made 12% profit on what she spent. That is, if they'd spent the same amount of money to start with, Sally would have made more money in total. And the way we did this to work out the percentage change, we did the actual change, that was the first step, the 985 or the 786. We put that over the original amount. It's very important that it's the original amount, not the new amount. And then we times by 100 to get it into a percentage. So let's look at a second example. We've got our formula at the top there. Buy a house for 84,500 and sell it for 79,430. What is my percentage profit or loss? In this case, we're not told. We need to work out which one of those two words it is that we need to use. So, the change, the actual change, is, well, if we pay 84500 and sold it for 79430 the change is going to be negative. We lost money. So, seventy. Nine thousand four hundred and thirty. What we ended up with minus what we spent, and that gives us a total of minus five thousand and seventy. So the change is minus five thousand and seventy. That means I lost five thousand and seventy dollars. So as a percentage profit or percentage loss in this case, because we lost money, it's five thousand and seventy over the original amount of how much I spent to start with, is 84,500. And we times that by 100 to turn that into a percentage. 
which gives us an answer of 6. Okay? Because of this negative sign here, because of the negative sign here, or because we paid more than we sold it for, it's a loss. So our answer is a 6% loss. And if you're dealing with percentage change or profit and loss questions, you must specify whether that's a 6% increase or a 6% profit or a 6% decrease or a 6%